What's going on guys, this is Damien from The Lookout and welcome to Latin Finals Top 8 Breakdown, the last Finals Breakdown before we go to the Battle Hour in 2 weeks. It's gonna be awesome. So for all of you guys still preparing for NA Nets, this video is for you. But before we begin this video, huge shout out to the Coffee Club, our lovely patrons. These are our $2 and up patrons that buy us coffee. They keep this crazy content grind going and guys thanks a lot for your support if you wish to join the coffee club link to our patreon is in the description below and i think that's about everything roll the video as we told for our videos so let's start with the breakdown or in this case general info this was a live finals event organized by Kokui and sang sang hopefully i haven't butchered the names congrats guys for hosting a finals event 72 players in total Best of one pre-side day one and then best of three top cut day two. We've live streamed this event on English. Link to our Twitch is in the description below. You can check out the games there. And guys, huge shout out to everyone who had participated at the event. From the players to 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 Judge Steph. All of you are awesome. Now, let's check out the top eight. Here it is guys, the top eight. So 72 players. First place, Jared Lopez with Expert Android 21. Expert Android 21 winning. Yeah, like only Jared Lopez can do that. <laughs> like, yeah, it's cool to see this deck win such an event. Congrats, congrats. Then second place, Green Gohan. Third place, Green Gohan, Herson Pizarro, congrats my friend, he's going to be representing Latin America in LA, he is the Latin American world representative, Herson, congratulations for all of you who don't know him, uh, he's the player who won Latin events with Gotenks reboot deck earlier in the year, I know that there was a lot of talks, about Gotenks reboot winning this is the same player congratulations my friend fourth place Jiren yes Jiren gets fourth place that game was so close so close and it had the wildest ending that I have ever seen ever I don't think that we will ever again see something like that happen if you wish to know what it is link is in the description below oh man you, you will be shocked, trust me. I'll try to upload it. Uh, then, fifth place, SS4 Bardock. Yeah, SS4 Prismatic Bardock. He, he still picks a punch. Fifth place, congratulations. Sixth place, Android 21, BT20. So, both Androids 21 in the top eight. That's awesome. That's cool to see. Uh, and then, surprisingly... 7th and 8th place, U7. Yeah, the big scary boogeyman is at the bottom of the top 8. At least it made it to the top 8, of course, but it's a bit surprising if we consider the early results for finals, where U7 was everywhere. This just kind of shows that players have learned how to play against this deck. They have adapted, the deck isn't that scary, and we see the results here. Anyways, congratulations to the 7th and 8th place as well. And uh, let's check out the deck lists. Okay, guys, we are here with Top Deck Diffusion again. Top Deck Diffusion, an amazing website for all of your meta needs, for lists, meta leader statistics, everything, guys. Plus, they also have Fusion World now. You can check out new cards, decks, build decks, everything. Massive shout out to Top Deck Diffusion. Now, Let's dive into the deck lists and we will start with first place Jared Lopez's Expert 21. Congratulations, Jared. Um, I'm not the best when it comes to uh, Expert 21 and these lists. So I would say that this is pretty standard list from what I recall. Uh, pretty Black Hole, though, is a cool addition. So it's counter attack. Negate the attack, then you may choose one of your battle cards, negate its skills and place it in its owner's drop area. If you do, draw one, then choose any number of your opponent's non-token battle cards with a total energy cost less than or equal to the energy cost 
of the card placed in your drop area with a skill and KO them. Like, it's a mouthful. But basically, you negate, it, you negate the attack, you drop one of your cards, you draw one, and then you get to remove something, or you remove more cards than just one. Okay, uh, and then uh, we have the Z deck and the side deck. So, congrats, Jared. Then uh, we have Green Gohan. It's basically, it's pretty standard green build, like a lot of defenses here with cooler, with King Cold, with King Vegeta, when you play him all the time on Curve, it's amazing, it's crazy. And then when you just play Freeze on him, plus Meta Cooler as well. So there's a lot of good tech here. And then we have like the standard Gohan package. The interesting choice here though is SS2 Trunks, um, which actually helps you uh, by allowing you to play your Z extra card for free. Okay. And then we have the side deck and the Z deck. Then we have third place, Herson's Gohan. All right, let's check it out, man. So Herson was running SS Bardock. SS Bardock is a meta pick against uh, U7 because you can just knock cards out of the combo zone, which is great. You can just deny them Z charge or extra draws through Z charge. So really, really cool pick. I believe this one will become a staple in green decks going forward. At least until we see the Z unisons. Then uh, SCR is of course Bursting Rage. Three copies of Dormant, one Charismatic Villain. What have they done to our boy, green players? What have they done to our boy? Look how they massacred him. Limited to one. Awful. Uh, two secret IDs and then of course Cooler. Cooler is how you beat U7 because you can send it there for cost burn to the drop for super cheap. Uh, then we have King Cold. Once again, King Vegeta unison. Very, very good unison. And uh, going through the rest, it's basically standard except like this thing here Broly Omen of Evolution which basically on your defense step you get to combo with him with activate and then you activate activate battle you place him into a drop and then you knock out a card from the combo so uh if you combine it with bardock you basically remove two cards from the combo area and then we have blue impulse go check out the stream blue impulse now this is a must-have card. This is definitely a must-have card in green. Helps you deal with white boards. Can play a huge role in time. Especially if you're playing a deck which doesn't swarm as much as some other decks. Anyways, the, I think that's it for this list. Congratulations, Herson. I will see you in LA soon. Then we have Jiren. Yeah, Jiren making it all the way to top 4. Congrats! Congrats, massive congratulations. I love Jiren. So, um, Pen was the SCR. There was a huge question what's the SCR? Uh, because it was played only once in like five or six games. So, yeah, Pen SCR, definitely the SCR of choice that you wish to run in Jiren. Two secret IDs, and then the rest is standard. Now, one thing that you will notice is Jirens have completely dropped. 5 cost Jirens. So you're not playing them at all. You're no longer even playing the one that tutors. You're just cutting to as low amount of cards as possible. And then we have the Z deck and the side deck. And we see the Jiren is also running this one, which is cool. Android 13 full of confidence is amazing. And Kettle. Yeah. Uh, counterplay. If the battle card being played has 20k or less, place it in its owner's drop instead. Of it, being, of it being played. Kettle is also absolutely amazing in this deck. You need this counterplay that drops from time to time. You just flat out need it. Then we have uh, one of the U7s here. It's U7. Like, it's literally the standard U7 build. So yeah, there you go guys. U7 uh, with the Z deck and uh, the side deck here. Then we are moving to Bardock, which I can also say, guys, it's just Bardock. 
running one mehi broken seal uh, running the evil saiyan scr that's really cool usually they just run a vermilion saiyans but evil saiyan scr that, that's a cool tech choice definitely and also running one hostile saiyan encounter and then the rest is standard yeah and then we have the side deck and the Z deck also running two copies of Broly Omen of Evolution to fight those U7 decks. Alright, and then we are moving on to another U7. And once again, guys, it's U7. Uh, though this time uh, Gohan Piccolo is the SCR of choice. That's cool. Um, what else do we have here? We have a single copy of Zamasu Sacred Belief to rest some more cards. Uh, four copies of Majin, and the other combo is Backbone of Universe 7 Goku. So usually it's Wings or Backbone, though this one is also running one copy of Zamasu. And here is the side deck, and last but not the least, Android 21, BT20, and once again it's Android 21. <laughs> like, it's the standard, standard list. Uh, congratulations and uh, yeah here we have this the side deck and the Z deck and that's basically it sometimes it's hard to find what to say about these decks that have basically refined lists and then you're seeing the same things over and over again which isn't a critique it's just like if it if it ain't broken don't fix it so yeah Android 21 uh cool things uh let me see well uh you have uh well hit unison is still sticking around and black smoke so imperfect cell i think that i will make a video hopefully about some uh, side deck suggestions though i believe that if you are playing if you're looking to play in nets i think that black smoke should be considered in the side deck Two copies if you're playing U7. With Bardock Unison now being so prominent, I think that you can, if you're running U7, at least you should run two copies of this. But this is Android 21. So, anyways, guys, that's it for the deck list. That's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what's your opinion on the Latin Finals breakdown. Is there anything here that surprises you? Have you expected some of these results? Is there any deck that you thought will get here, but it didn't? I, for example, am shocked at the amount of U7s just dropping out of Top Cut. Because, yeah, very early on they were everywhere, man. Everywhere. Now, I'm not certain would I pick it for finals if I was playing. But I'm a bad player, don't listen to me. Anyway, guys, let me know in the comments below. I read all of your comments I try to respond to everything. I love our little community. And guys, while you're here, hit those like and subscribe buttons, share the video, help us get to 4,000 subs. And when we hit 4k, I'm gonna give away a booster box. This has been Damien from The Lookout, and I'll see all of you in the next video.